everyone, today I have one question to you. Can you actually see all the color here? As an optometry to me, we cannot simply test your color vision like this. Actually, there's a lot of color vision tests with uh, standard equipment and procedure for optometry to conduct. Uh, remember, one, one color vision test is insufficient to test your color vision. Um, later, we will introduce three color vision tests, which are Ichihara test, Fansworth D15 test, and Fansworth Manser 100 Q test. Let's take a look how optometrists co uh, conduct these three tests. Now, I'm going to introduce about the Ishiara test. So for Ishiara test, it's actually a pseudo-isochromatic plate test or also known as a color perception test. And this test is mainly for us to detect red green color deficiency. For the test, it actually consists of a number of plates and on top of the plates is printed with colors of dots which appear randomly in different colors and size. And all these dots eventually they will form different numbers and shapes. For HR test, it is designed to screen for red, green, color deficiency only. And before the test, we need to make sure that the patient wear full facial correction. And if the patient requires near facial correction, we need to use the near edge for the testing also. And besides, the tender spread of the content lenses should be avoided for the test. And for the Ishihara test, we need to do the test at a distance of 75 for the 75 cm. And the test is done molecularly under bright illumination. Okay, now please use this occluder to occur your left eye. Okay. And can you tell me what number did you see? Sure. And then for the transparency, it is only it is especially designed for the children and the irritants, so we will skip this. And then we, now we need to please change your underwear, touch and to cover your right eye, and then repeat the steps. Okay. And then for the reminder, the we, should make, we, need, we need to make sure that the patient do not touch the patch surface and it will affect the color temperature of the features and also we need to make sure that the patient do not read each plan more than 3 seconds. So now I'm going to talk about the interpretation for each test. So for in order for a patient to pass the test, they can only make a maximum of 4 mistakes. So if they uh, do a mistake more than 4, it's considered as a fail. And the, so the passing marks for Ishara test is actually 20 over 24 or 10 over 40. Passwork dichotomous 15 test is a color ordering test. Means that patient must order a series of color in gradual progression. Remember, it is not a screening test. If the patient fails the Ishihara test, Optometrists can conduct this test for further diagnostic. Actually, Passport D15 tests um, separate the patient with mild color defect who pass the test and the patient with moderate and severe color defect who fail the test. It can test for red, green, and blue, yellow color defect, uh, so it is suited to testing acquired color deficiencies. Actually, Fansworth D15 test consists of 15 loose cap and 1 fixed cap. We call it reference cap in a box. The caps next to each other have equal hue difference. When the caps are arranged in order out of the box, they form a hue circle and then arrows can be made across the hue circle. Good morning, sir. Now I would like to do the FMD15 test on you. This test is to test the extent of your color vision deficiency. As you can see, here I have 15 color caps. So now, here has a reference cap. Then you need to select one color caps, which the color is more closest to this cap, and put it inside. Okay, then you, you, after you put the first cap, you need to put the second cap, which the color is more closer to the second, the first cap you have put just now. Then and so on. Okay. The test is conducted for 
two minutes long, so just take your time and don't rush. This is the heel circle for a normal trichromat patient. A patient feels the test if he or she makes one major closing or two or more minor closings. This is the heel circle for a protanops. And this is the graph for the deutanops. And this is the graph for the tritanops. Abnormalities from the mountus red print defect to the total achromatosia. It separates the patient with normal color vision into classes of superior, average, and low color discrimination and measure the excess or zones of color confusions in those with color vision defect. This is the FM Harrod Hill test. The FM Harrod Hill test is similar to the D15. However, the color differences between caps is smaller. It consists of 85 caps which form the perfect hue circle of the visual spectrum. The hue circle is divided into four parts for the testing. Each box has an additional caps at the either end. There are 22 or 21 loose caps in one, one box. The four boxes makes it impossible to confuse red with green or blue with yellow. Uh, so first, we need to randomize the in the box one. Then the test has no time limit, but normally the test will be uh, should be not more than two minutes. So miss, good morning miss. Today we will carry on the FM hundred hue test. The test is to detect the color vision anomalies. So miss, can you try to arrange the caps into the box, like arrange the colors the nearest to the previous cap? using the number inside the case. So at the same time, the patient can continue the next box. Now. First, we need to find the difference between the two nearest neighbor 
uh, for example, 65 and 64, the difference is 1. And then 64 and 66, the difference is 2. 66, 67 is 1. So just carry on like this. Then we need to sum up the difference between the nearest neighbor. Uh, this is the partial area score. So three, 1 plus 2 is 3, and then 2 plus 1 is 2, 3, and then 1 plus 1 is 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 2, 2. Okay, then to derive the total error score, we need to subtract 2 from the each partial error score. So 3 minus 2 should be 1, 1, 0, 0. And then sum up all the resultant corrected error score and the score uploaded on the recording sheet and the axis is noted. This is the graph of total error score norms. Y axis represent 95 percentile upper normal limits and X axis represent the age of the patient. FM100 Hill test is an age dependent test. Basically, different age have their own score at 95 percentile upper normal limit accordingly. Color vision deficiency may be characterized by performing a polar plot. In this instance, partial error score is plotted against cap number. There are two methods of attributing error score, either to the cap itself, which is Bunce Worth method, or to the cap that should have been in that position, which is Kinnear methods. These are fun worth methods. So for potent, the axis is approximately 10 to 4 o'clock position. And for the two tens, the axis is approximately 11 and 5 o'clock position. While for the type triton, the axis is approximately 12 and 6 o'clock position. For conclusion, this test was not designed for screening but for diagnosis. It also not a test to separate a color anomalous from the dichromat. But this test can separate the sufficiently affected tutin from the sufficiently affected protons and titrans. It also can be used to assess the severity of the defect by the wave of the total error scores.